I know I'm late. Voodoo's gonna come in here and yell at me about it. How is everybody? Hey TM. TM's my favorite today. How are we doing? Did we have a good weekend? Bony, oh. bony, hey, hey, bony, 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 fix it, bony, 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 fix it. I was busy having dinner and I had to have a quick conversation with my neighbor because my neighbor is having work done and they need access via my back garden for a couple of days. So that had to be done. Patience, patience. So I'm also having my coffee. Ah, my coffee is almost cold, so I'm going to have to drink it quick. So yes, how was everybody's weekend? Yes, Voodoo, and not the way you're meaning. Ay, 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 ay. How was everybody's weekend? Did you have fun? I had fun. I got trapped, as you may know. <laughs> I um, managed to get Luigi trapped in a parking garage. That was supposed to be 24 hours, and turned out it wasn't. That was interesting. So yes, for a whole extra day in Falkirk that I hadn't planned on. Um, oh my God. I phoned everybody. I phoned the council. I phoned the construction company that's working on site. I phoned the uh, security company that's working on site. Nobody had contacts for the people who were actually um, do it, actually own the place because it's just recently changed owner. Except, oh, I, uh, saying that, but I messaged the chap from the construction company and he came back to me and he was very confused because um, he had no idea and he spent about two hours hunting down a contact number for me, whom I contacted, who completely ignored me, um, didn't even answer my messages. Uh, I tried to phone them and I texted them, no response. Uh, so yeah, that was um, fun. And then yesterday's trip down was really good fun. No, uh, they're having a resin driveway put down. So you can't walk on a resin driveway for 24 hours and you can't drive on it for 48, I think. No, I didn't feel like getting arrested. That would have just put the cherry on the top of the cake. Nah, nah, it was fine. There was no point in stressing about it. I had an extra day in Falkirk. I got to go have some butter beer and walk around and see some really cute shops. Hamish and I had fun. So, ah, it wasn't a big deal. True, they will. But then I'd probably get arrested for doing something like that. Yeah, the cops here don't play and the cops in Scotland as much. So, yeah, no. I did phone the cops and say to them, hey, listen, I'm stuck, help. And they couldn't help either. <laughs> no, um, honey, this is uh, butterbeer as in from the Harry Potter thing. It's a cool drink. It's not beer at all. Um, mine was made with oat milk because, of course, I can't have dairy. And vegan cream. It was delicious. Uh no, I don't think, I think they knew I wasn't pranking. Um, I spoke to the lady at the police station and she tried her very best to help me. Um, she was unable to because there are no contacts. There's no numbers on the building or anything like that. So, um, they, yeah, you're supposed to have contacts by law, but that, this is the building industry. It doesn't always work that way. you're an ass. 
So I'm enjoying my after dinner coffee now. Um, because I, I, I ate dinner early tonight. Well, I say early, but I made it earlier than I usually do because husband unit usually has gym. And then I make dinner a little bit later so he eats after gym. But we had dinner early because hubby didn't go because he's got work to do today. So. Yeah, they can. Um, but they have to have a proper reason to force entry they can't just go in because somebody said they should and me being trapped there wasn't enough of a, um, a reason yes you would think so I walked around the whole site there was not a soul there I banged on the door to see if maybe they had a security guard who was in the building Nada, nothing, not a soul. You would think so. There was one sign on there with a number that you could contact um, to um, book an annual pass to uh, for parking there on a regular basis nothing else absolutely nothing else <laughs> it's not really something you should say um voodoo <laughs> you may get a on the door Let me go put this somewhere else because my desk oh i have stuff stuck to my face my desk is an absolute disaster right now Back in a second. Right, so plans for today is to finish up these, so I've only got a few left to do, and then we're going to work on this, the belt, because this is now dry, and I can, ooh, it's lost a fair amount of tack, it's not that tacky, but we're going to use um, stuff to dry, and we've got these, which are the little triangles that I need. I bought these and they're the perfect color. They're absolutely spot on color wise. I'm really happy with that. It means I don't have to repaint. So I'm I'm a happy bunny. It's, it's been an entertaining weekend. I didn't mind too much being stuck in Falkirk. It's a pretty town. I didn't, I was supposed to go and see the Kelpies. But I was so excited when I got up on yesterday morning to, um, and checked, looked out the window and the doors were open, that I just basically ran across the road, got my car and left. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I was a little too excited. Hang on, I need, oh, dang it, I need my glasses. Hang on, that's gonna say. Another thing we can do before I start this is I can show you what I bought. Oh, 
Oh, that was nice of you. Just put that one down. I don't want it to burn. So, this is one of the things I bought at the prop and costume place. It's solid brass. How gorgeous is that? It's beautiful. I have plans for this. I'm possibly going to fill in this with resin. And then I'm going to um, put a dome on it. And I'm going to come up. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put inside the dome. But it's going to be something... It might have something to do with the other stuff I've got. I'll show you what else I've got. I'll introduce you to Hamish. This is Hamish. This is Hamish. This is Hamish's new little friend, Francis. Francis the Froggy. So those are two other little things I bought. So Hamish and Francis. And then I got this. Which I haven't even opened yet. Come on. It doesn't even have a lid. A bunch of baby skulls. Baby skulls, yes. So these, this may end up in the dome. I'm, I'm planning to possibly paint these. Maybe or could be. I'm thinking of painting these. So I've got a few of them. Some of them are broken. Okay, so I've got I've got quite a few. So there's the bottom jaw. So I've got the bottom and the top jaw of these. Yeah, we've got a box of skulls, which is kind of cool. I had to have that. And then I've got two of these. These are solid metal. This is like a tenner each. Or is it 15? 15 each. Considering you're looking at like 50 quid for these online. Uh, Voodoo, save them. I want them. What? Yes, please. What? what? <laughs> so yes, um, I was thinking possibly even mount booty skulls on this. So what I want to what I want to do with these is I actually want to make a mold of them. I've got two of them. Make a mold and cast them, and then make framed, framed butterflies, framed other things, because I think they would be quite cool. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, yeah, just check, check if it is legal or not. And then I got these ones as well. I got three of these. These are kind of cool. These ones are kind of cool. Yeah, you can look at yourselves. There you are. Say hello to yourselves. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, these are kind of cool. They're, they're resin, though, I think. <laughs> They've already got a birdie skull on them. So I've got three of those. So not much of a haul. Just some of a haul. And then uh, while I was in Falkirk, I found this place called the Lonely Cauldron. And it came with, uh, I bought some of these. These are Tears of a Wizard. So give it a good shake. And it's all shiny. See? It's all shiny. So, Tears of a Wizard. We have Witch's Brew. Oh, right. Okay. Are you sure about Okay. Uh, we, we won't worry about that this one then. And then we've got Basilisk, Basilisk's Blood. Oh, just stick it in my elbow well out of the way <laughs> so yes i've got three three of those from this, this little shop it's the cutest little shop very much harry potter based although harry potter wasn't actually mentioned anywhere there for obvious reasons but yeah so i got that as well and then that's where i got francis the lucky frog and francis came home with me i have more coffee yay but yeah, no, seriously, voodoo skulls. I want them. 
definitely, definitely want them. So, did you guys have an entertaining weekend? <laughs> oh, I need to wait. Uh. <laughs> A posh, oh, 1.2, Jesus Christ, that's insane, that is bonkers, no drink is worth that, what rich people will spend their money on, on honestly. I need to figure out a way to break into that market. Um, I really do. Yeah, that whiskey that I was looking at at Gretna was not cheap. Uh, I say I was um, I was being a bitch to you to Judy because he was upset that I was going to Scotland where all the whiskey is. So I sent him photos of the whiskey I was looking at. <laughs> There was a, I actually should have taken a photo of it, I didn't think to at the time, I was done with me. There was a, um, oh, I just heard a fly, and it, was, it was on my recording. Um, there was a uh, stag bottle, a glass bottle that looked like a stag, and I think you pour from one of the, one of the, antlers but it was absolutely beautiful but that was like 300 bucks no it's bonkers i mean the bottle was nice but i don't think it was 300 pounds worth of nice i don't care how, what it's got in it In which case we may, once, once you've got a few things collected, we, we may have to do a meet-up type thing. Um, some meat on the border of Wales or something. Or I could just drive to you as soon as you can't drive, because you were dumb enough to get to lose your license. Dummy. forget that you can't. Huh? How weird. Boop. Oh, I can see it. As for the skulls, no problem. That one. I can see that. Which is being twitchy. I have to say, I did have a good giggle at myself getting my new car uh, locked in a parking garage. On the upside, because there was literally no way to get in the building, and I mean no way, the doors, most, I think there was only one door on the entire building on the ground floor that had a handle. None of the rest had handles. So my car was safe. I didn't have to worry about it being broken into. That was the upside, because I was not particularly happy about leaving my car in a, a multi-story car park. That is the one problem about having in a bath. The, temp the temptation for teenagers, although it's not, doesn't seem to be as much as a, of a problem as it used to be, for teenagers to take it and take it joyriding, is um, quite substantial. Parking cost, I paid them for one night because Scotland, it cost me a fiver. I paid them for the night, I was planning to stay there 
And if they come back and try and charge me more, I will hit them with the hotel bill. I was not going to give them a leg to stand on. Because, um, and I took photographs of the fact that there was no notices up there at all. And the fact that the locals, the people who work across the road from it, weren't aware that it was closed or was going to close. Close. So, um, yeah, they can try me if they want. But honestly, I'd rather not have the, the headache. Not for a hundred bucks. Yeah. Five bucks for 24 hours. That's pretty awesome. I mean, in London, you're looking at 60 to 70 bucks for 24 hours, so yeah. Like I said, for, for the cost of, for fiver, for not giving them a leg to stand on, as far as um, them trying to force me to pay more. Good luck with that. To be honest, I'll just set husband unit on them. He enjoys that sort of fight. I don't like fighting with people. I'd rather take the hit, honestly. I know it's not the best thing to do because other people suffer if you don't fight them. But... Sap! Hydrate, you bastard! Hydrate! Are you trying to become Lengo, Sap? That when I see your name, I'm going to start taking something, having something to drink. How are you doing, Sap? Zip, 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 zip. How you doing? Um, I know this is not the best hydration, but it's what I've got. <laughs> zap, zap, zap. I got my car locked in the garage this weekend, zap. I got stuck in Scotland for a whole extra day because of it. I had planned to stream and everything yesterday. I was going to do all this. <laughs> I had a fun weekend. Me and Hamish got to see lots of Scotland. Yes. I was still up in Scotland yesterday. I was driving home. Not that I really tend to stream Mondays anymore. I'm, I am, Mondays is an ad hoc stream. I'll stream when I'm up for it. You oh no! I'm so, oh, sorry to hear you did not have a fun weekend, Sap. Yes, uh, for those sort of people, when they're in that sort of situ um what's the name, Voodoo? That's normally when it's best to keep your mouth shut and just leave them to it. But I bet you, you argue. And I don't blame you for arguing, but like I said, with people like that, it, there's no point. Yes, what Voodoo said. Oh no, no, don't do that, Sap. And I, I, I know that's not helpful. Um, but we, please, Sap. We love you. I'm glad you did that. I'm glad you talked to someone. I'm so glad you talked to someone, Sap. Those brain gremlins are bastards. Absolute bastards. And I am always on the end of the line if you need me, Sap. Always. Okay?
Oh, 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 oh dear. I love that question. Do you know why I stopped you? Or do you want me to incriminate myself? I'm going to pretend ignorance, dear. Yes, I'm glad you called your therapist and I'm glad you're here. I love your face, okay? Good, 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 good. What happened to my... What are you doing? How's, how's my... Oh. It's your army set. We love you. The brain is a weird freaking place. It really is. Awesome, you toys. They always make me feel better. Especially when the brain gremlins are being bastards. <laughs> Dumbass. And this husband unit got uh, clocked had an average of 98 on the motorway. He managed to not lose his license because that man groveled. He apologized profusely and groveled and promised never ever to do it again. Mm, nice. I have absolutely no idea what those are, but I'm glad you're happy about them. Snip, snip, snip. Yeah, at that speed they're definitely going to take your license away from you. They're not going to even question anything. Your license is gone. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it is very easy. It's, my 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 car is like that as well. It's um very very easy to push over eighty miles an hour. I actually have my dash set to ping me if I go over eighty. Sap's going to be making connecting cables. You know, that's the sort of thing husband unit does for me. There's no real interest in that sort of thing. I mean, I could learn it. But I have no interest in learning it, so. And he can do it already. So why should I spend hours learning that? He can do it for me. I'll learn it if I ever need to. He gets so irritated with me about that attitude. Ooh. Thank you. You didn't need to do that. Why are you apologizing? Are you apologizing for the giving of the gift? Or are you about to do something you shouldn't?
You have Google and YouTube, Voodoo. What's your problem? Get to it. <laughs> I won't yell at you. Be a stern look, though. Right over the top of the glasses. Hmm. There we go, Voodoo. You just have to talk to Sap. Sap can tell you how to do it. No excuses. I remember the lava lamps. My parents got rid of theirs because they, they had a habit of exploding. <laughs> I always wanted a lava lamp myself, actually. I think they, they're awesome to watch. Oops, fuck. Ah, this is going to be hot. I just son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, we'll let you cool down. I'm not going to touch you until you cool down. I'll put a new one. Uh, probably not, no. Pressure release valve. Duh. You know how to make things safely because you know how they blow up. You have the knowledge. Duh. I mean, this is not hard. <laughs> the fun is not having three degree burns and missing limbs and eyes and things. The fun is watch, sitting watching the lava lamp do its thing and go wee and all the little shapes. It's like cloud watching. See all the pretty shapes. Okay, so I'll drop you back in there because we can do, still use you. There they are. This is true. The other option is you can make a glitter. Uh, it doesn't have to be glitter. I, I, I don't want to encourage the use of glitter. Um, but there's the glitter amp and you put a little vortex creator in the bottom and things make pretty glitter. You don't have to, like I said, you don't have to do glitter. You can do something else. Oh, that reminds me that, okay, I need to show Sap. Let me just do this last one and I'll show Sap. Um, that was one of the things I was thinking of doing with that. We won't ask you to do Oh, dang. Yeah, this is when, when we had the lava lamps, this was the 70s. Self and safety wasn't really a thing. Okay, look, Seth, look what I bought this weekend. Look at it. This is what I got that, that prop place. It's solid. And what I was thinking um, is putting filling this with resin, right? Filling this with resin, putting a dome over it, and then, then I've got leaves, and maybe putting some moths and stuff in. Two bird skulls, I've got the top and bottom beak. I've got that at the top place as well. But this, this is just yeah, it is for a big chunk of candles, but I don't want to use it for candles. I'm going to fill that with resin and then put the dome over the top so it will be a stand with a snare, like uh, dead butterflies and things in it. I like that idea much better than a boring candle. And I had some stuff there that I'd rather. I had to. I, I had a budget. No, that's, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't have to stick. It just has to fill. I don't want it not necessarily to stick. It is, isn't it? And then um, I also got this. His name is Francis. Look at Francis. Look how cute Francis is. Francis is a little like lucky, glass lucky frog. So I got Francis. Francis is Hamish's new, new pal.
if you do um I, I, like i said it doesn't have to stick stick it just has to fill the hole we're almost there we're almost done with these got five left six left to do And we'll work on the belt for a bit. The nice thing about this time of year is it's late and it's light for so long. So they had um, some domes, the glass domes there that had butterflies and moths and things in them, but they wanted some silly prices for them. And I wasn't willing to pay that for them. What I will actually say to them is. Um, they can keep an eye out for candle bases, snazzy candle bases. Wazzle! Hello, Wazzle! So I can make, th make things to sell. So um, there's a lady that I follow on threads um, that makes stands like that with uh, butterflies and moths and skulls and things and I want to do the same it, it sh uh, they even um, sell frames with real spider webs in them they go outside with like some black velvet or something similar and they just basically push it through the spider web so the spider web sticks to it and they look really cool and I was like that is such a simple idea I absolutely love it because I would put that on my wall now you see that the, the resin base I plan to put on there would be black so you wouldn't see the scuff the scratch marks and stuff So close to getting these done and then I can start thinking about sticking them on the oh I can't stick them on the dress yet I've got to put the dress together first I think we're going to be good and do this last as desperate as I want uh, as I am to get these onto the dress I think I have to be sensible damn it and um, get the other stuff done first Ow! I'm sorry, Wazzle. It's over with the. I hope you heal quick. And pain goes quick. So close to done. Still fighting the urge to put all of the uh, encrust the dressing stones. Can't do that. Oh, righty, my sweet. You take care. We love you and send you lots of hugs, okay? And g give the mini me a, uh, a hug from us as well. Look after yourself. <laughs> it just when the mother comes along and makes it home. <laughs> yeah, I would be one of those buggers. I, I, I would I, I would steal the ones from the spiders that insist on building webs in places that I walk. Because I do a major spider dance. I, I, I have actually no idea if I would have the guts to. I, I would have to make triple sure that that spider web is empty before I even go near it. Because honestly, <laughs> need to you know, figure out a way to seal it afterwards. 
because otherwise the spider web will get damaged and then disintegrate. Oh, cracky Moses. Damn it. Shit, that's, that, that's a difficult choice to make because if you, I would imagine, the longer you wait to have that surgery done, the more damages are going to be done, you could end up disabled as well. You're definitely of that age, dear. My knees sound like glow sticks when I'm walking. They're still okay. Touch wood. They still work, as they should, pretty much should. But Jesus Christ, they click and clack. <laughs> Give been taken off at the knees and you meaning. So how you doing Wazzle? Did you have a good weekend? thing about we get all, up to all this shit when we're young and then come 40 and bam your body starts reminding you about all the shit you did to it over the years oh nice you kept yourself occupied excellent We're going to make a right mess here in a minute. Once I get this belt out in the... Um, what do I do with it? Now that I'm thinking about it. I hope I put it back in the bag. Get the mica pad out. I'm going to... How long was the drive back? It took me about 10 hours to drive back, but then I did a lot of stops, as you can see by the photos. Stopped at Gretna, I did, some, I did a lot of back route driving, um, stopped all, all the way along there to take photos. The views are just freaking insane. The views are absolutely insane. I'll put you over there, well away from my elbows, so I do not end up incinerating myself. Ta-da! We have a bowl of flowers with sparklies in the centre. All done. Yay! We are well out the way. Put these back. I put, a, I put videos in the Discord. I'll pull it up in a sec. Give me a sec. I'll pull it up now. Awesome, Wazzle! Awesome! Alright, let's get those let's get those videos up. Where's my Discord? Discord eh? You do not switch. I think I put it up. Did I put it up in life or photos? I can't remember now. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is what I got up to this weekend. Uh Oh, it's going to be like that about it. There we go. There's Hamish and I touring Scotland. This was the drive up. I don't know if Same view. Come on, let's go. 
quietly watched you. Today, Hamish, one day, around Fogger, he had no choice. As we were stuck, they're due to the 24 hours car power being closed today. He found this lovely little shop called the Lonely Broomstick. They sell butter beer and lots of other wizardy stuff. Hamish even found a friend, an adorable lucky frog. His name is Francis. Hamish enjoyed his butter beer. And then last one, this was my trip home. Today, Hamish and I headed home after liberating Luigi from the past heart. We stopped at a few places along the way to take in the incredible views. We also stopped at Gretna Green. Hamish got to meet them. Piper, who plays for the newlyweds getting married here. Gretna is where couples would love to. When hey, Papa. parents did not agree with them getting married, Hamish and I had a lot of fun. Goodbye, Scotland. We miss you already. So yes, that was my trip around Scotland. Here we go, Power Pup. Oh, I, you can't see it. Hang on. Let's turn that off. Ooh, no, wrong one. Eesh. Hamish. I have the fridge magnet as well. But this is Hamish. He goes traveling with me. And Hamish has got a new friend. This is Francis. He is a little glass lucky frog. He's adorable. So Hamish and Fro Ham Hamish now has a little friend who goes traveling with him. Uh, Voodoo, that channel is called Life. It's directly under memes and fun stuff. So yes, we I had a lot of fun, even after getting my car stuck in the car park. <laughs> Still cracks me up. I bought Hamish last time I was up in Scotland. Um, we I was up there, we stopped over in uh, we were staying with a friend over in Thurzo, which is right on the top end of Scotland. Oh god, Wazzle. Why? Why, Wazzle, why? <laughs> Hang on a second. Let's get the mindfulness up. Five minutes of mindfulness. <laughs> okay, let's get mindfulness up. Where are you, mindfulness bot? Inspo bot. Let's see how deranged Inspo bot is today. I'm sorry ahead of time. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Keep on growing our own vegetables unless you want to be calm. Forget the fact that you don't need to be born to fight depression. Oh god. Really? It's my bot seriously? You can shrink things that nobody else will shrink. What's that? I can't switch. Alrighty. <laughs> Take a deep breath. We're doing a lot of breathing again today. Just because you are persistent doesn't necessarily mean that you are not feminine. Okay. What's the word sound today? One day you will be starving. Nice. Thanks, Inspobo. Allow yourself to breathe uncontrollably. <laughs> One of those days, are we in Spobot? Only through the self sacrifice of entertainment will you achieve possession. That's a little on point. It is, right, if you Wuzzle? You seek to be treated like you are an insane person. <laughs> you have to be gentle. Your 
full potential begins when you achieve mindfulness. This is InspoBot, Jellyfish. This is InspoBot. This is an AI inspiration bot. It's unhinged. If you participate in positivity, admire a large person. Where the hell have you been today, InspoBot? Damn! Feel the connection between your attention and heaven. Well, we've, we've had feel how your, your testicles are part of the walls around you. That one doozy we've had. Breathing. I'd also like to tell you to breathe. And out. I'm glad it said the outfit. I would have fallen, turned blue and fallen over. <laughs> People who walk hand in hand with others embrace love. I see them every now and then it says nice things like that. It's unhinged most of the time. Take a deep breath. Really on the breathing in. Effect. And out. <laughs> you are pretty. Aww. You're supposed to be nice today. I'm creeped out. Remember how the inventor of yoga once said, make sure your business associate is taken. Okay. Don't think. Let yourself try to become a better human. <laughs> that sounds like something the government would say to you. Ignore the connection between your muscles and humanity itself. I'm glad my muscles aren't connected to humanity itself. That would be odd. Extend your intestines. <laughs> okay, we're starting on the body bits now. <laughs> the air you breathe is now transcending the air that surrounds you. Okay. A couple more, and then that'll be it for the week. Allow your large intestine to hyperventilate slowly. I do hyperventilate slowly. Repeat this to yourself. My soul is great. My soul is great. My soul is great. Okay, last one. Effective altruism, we can make smoking get the attention it deserves. And we'll leave it on that one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look, Jenny, 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 look, look, shinies. My flowers have all got shinies in them. Yay! I've got a whole bowl of shiny flowers. Just finished that. Now we're going to get some mica powder out and we're going to mica powder this. So yes, those, those are all the um, freestanding lace flowers that I did with my embroidery machine. And they're going to go on the dress. So the dress is hanging up behind me now. Okay, where's my mica powder? I require my mica powder. I'm going to do something I shouldn't and stand on my chair that has wheels on it. Mica powder. Oh, mica powder. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Where's my mica powder hiding? Let's have a look see over here. Mica powder. There it is. Eh, gotcha. Ha ha. Now we're gonna make a mess. Time for messiness. Oh, need a brush. <laughs> oh, Jelly's not not new here, Voodoo. Jelly knows me very well. <laughs> oh, you do know. Okay. Okay, let's get. See, now this is what I love 
about um, flexi paint because it's tacky all I have to do is this I don't even have to paint it on I just have to rub it onto paint and it goes gold I have no idea what that is never heard of it so that particular one is lost on me okay wait let's um Let's do this. I'm going to do a bit of a zoomy zoom so you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. There we go. See, when you're doing metallic finishes with this, that's how I did the brush the excess dust off. That's how I did the helmet. It was like this. Look, metallic finish. Works a treat every time. And they bring back the um, original formulation because they, they everybody was complaining about the tack, which is they found very inconvenient. And I almost instantly figured this bit out, that you could do this with it. So I love the tack. I was sad when it took it away. Oh, no, this it doesn't rub off very easily on this because there's a, a tack on this already, Voodoo. The paint is dry with stickiness. So, um... It sticks to it, but I do put a clear coat over the top. I mean, it would eventually wear off. That's true. But, like I said, I put a clear coat over the top to protect it. And the thing I lo love most about this is the fact that um, you don't end up with brush marks. And a little bit of mica powder goes a long ass way. I'm going to be shiny and silver, uh, gold once done this. This particular mica powder is a, um, they call it ghost, ghost powder. So over black it goes like this. But if you put it over white, it um, you get a ghost effect. So only at certain angles will you see the gold. How the bloody hell are you? I hope you are well. I'm streaming at a very unusual time today because my neighbours are having work done. So um, I'm streaming much later than I would normally do. how far that little bit of mica powder went. <coughs> so 
sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Braveborn. I am sorry to hear that. No night, beauty dear. Sit tight. Happy lurking, thanks so much, Jelly. Oh, awesome. Yes. You go practice your crochet. Thanks for the lurk, that is truly appreciated. What about Mando armor? And yes, you could do this effect with Mando armor. A lot of people use graphite to do something like this. Graphite powder. And you may, of course, yes, so long as it doesn't break TOS. Links were I shall click on that in a second. Let me just finish doing this because if you breathe on the stuff on it goes freaking everywhere. See look at that. That metallic effect. How cool is that? Right. Oh, oh, that is bad. Oh my God, that is awesome, Ray. That is so cool. That is so so cool. <laughs> oh, that is <laughs> that is so awesome! Look at it. It was me. I love it. I absolutely love it. That is so cool. Nice one. Thanks for sharing that, Wraithborn. That was that was great. It was good to see that. That that um Mando armor is awesome. You don't get the reference. That is a Game of Thrones reference, Voodoo. She was an evil cow, but I loved her. That is seriously cool. Take care, Voodoo. Sleep tight.
This is going a bit quicker than I was expecting, honestly. And I might just put the clear coat over the top. And the really cool thing, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, that's so cool, Power Pup. See these little, little triangle bits? Look at this color match. Look at this color match. I don't have to worry about trying to color match them. I'm so happy. Guys are so awesome. I might have taken out too much that time. Dang it. I hate wastage. I am very grateful for you guys doing things like that. But unfortunately, that is not something I'm mentally capable of doing. I would not do well in that situation. And that's not what the kids need. They need somebody who can be stay positive and be awesome. And unfortunately, I'm not one of those people. Not where kids are concerned, I just can't where kids are concerned. That is so cool. Kids are going to love that. Now we have to do the edge here, which is a pain in the ass. Got to be done.
You are an angel, my sweet. You are an absolute angel. If you guys have got links to these things that people can help with, please, please feel free to drop them in the chat. If people want to read up on more of what you do and maybe help out if they can. That is awesome. And people are generally pretty amazing when it comes to kids. Look, we have a metal belt. Ta da! I'm just going to sit here and do the edge. so funny the sound of uh, I'm not sure if it's water or wind or whatever I think it's water in this thing that's playing when it comes on I don't even notice it when it turns off it almost makes me jump That's conditioning because uh, when I was younger, um, my dad built me a hut outside so I could move out of the house. So I had a little shed on the garden that I turned into my bedroom, and um, I loved it. And next door neighbors had a pond, we had a river at the bottom of the garden. And the next door neighbors had a pond and the frogs used to hang out there very very noisy frogs that used to call at night and um that sound just put me to sleep every night but when that sound stopped i was awake because my first my brain was like why have the frogs stopped what predator is there is it is it a human predator is it a just another animal What's going on? Every time those frogs stopped, suddenly stopped for no reason, my brain was like, hello, wake up. You might need to do something. Okay, she is done. And I'm going to be blowing sparkly snozzles. Ah, oh, yes, 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 of course you can, of course you can. Please, I want to see Hamish the Haggis. I'm just giving it a polish now. Get all the dust off. I want to see Hamish the Haggis. <laughs> I love it. Look at it. That is so cool. Okay, 
Is, is Hamish the Haggis okay? Oh, this is so cool. Oh no! Okay. Hey, Mish. That is just so cool. That is just so awesome. Thank you for sharing that. My potatoes are about six. Ta da! Look, look, look at that. Look at that shine. Right? Some, um, we're going to need to get some silver out to do this because this needs to be done in silver. So the gold is done. Actually, I might put a clear coat over it now. Oh, do I want to put a clear coat over it? No, not yet, because I've still got things to stick to. I actually did this before I was supposed to, but never mind. So we've got this that needs to be done in silver. So I need to get my other one out. Uh, where is it? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want you. I want you. No. Throwing things on the floor here. So we want to get a whole box of mica powder out. It is, yes, mica powder. Well, this this one is a separate one I bought. This is ghost gold that I've just used. And I, I, I bought myself a box of mica powder. No? Uh, no, this is the mica powder is generally used in resin. You see, it's shiny powder. It's pretty much inert, and um, other you. Are you are you white? I don't want white. I need silver. No, that that is purple. Do we have a silver in here? We must have a silver. Please tell me we have a silver in here. Oh. What's that? Ooh. I seriously don't have any color. Oh, this is like some other white. Oh, that's just purple. Okay, so they do have the silver. There we go. We got silver. Yes, I do need to stick it to labels on top of what they are. This is a bit of a pain. But yeah, I bought this box quite a while ago and then completely forgot I had it until I had this job. So what I've got on here is this stuff, which is uh, flexi paint. This is the old, as you can see, this bottle is ancient. This is the old um, formula, formula that used to dry with tack or that dries with the tack. And I bought this because, uh, and I, I've been hoarding, that's my last bottle of it. I've been absolutely hoarding it because um, that stuff is really hard to get, get hold of. So what I do is I paint this with flexi paint, what, I'm, what, I, what this is belting. It's got a coat of flexi paint on, which is what this had on it. Before I use the mica powder to make it, I mean, look at that. And the, you don't have paint marks or anything like that. I would imagine graphite powder is very similar to mica powder. So now we want these silver because we're going to put blue on the top of these. So we need it super shiny. See, literally all you do is you just rub it on. Give it a good hot buff. Look at that. The shine on that. 
and that's the thing I like about it most is the and um, when you put a clear coat over it it doesn't lose its shine that's the other thing I love about it so you basically just put it on and give it a good buffing and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put get some um, transparency paint and I'm going to paint over this in blue different shades of blue and a little bit of mica powder goes a long, long way. See? Look that shine. Oh yeah, I'm going to be shiny for days. It's the, um, the first mica powder I ever used and bought was this stuff. This ghost gold one. And I've still got bags of this stuff. The stuff lasts forever. Absolutely forever. But, um, I found out the stuff is worse than glitter when it comes to getting everywhere because I was busy scooping out of the bag I had a basically one of those little spoons worth of the stuff as I was scooping it out the bag I sneezed everything was shiny for weeks afterwards absolutely everything was shiny for weeks and ever the sun shone into the room and you know you get the dust motes floating in the air my dust motes glittered <laughs> weeks husband unit a few months later cleaned out his laptop oh thank you for the follow mad so is hello and thank you so much for the follow yeah um husband unit cleaned, uh, opened up his laptop to clean up the uh, fans and stuff um, and the inside of his laptop was shiny. He was not impressed. I can't say I blame him. <laughs> it's so shiny, it sparkles. <laughs> and Mama, as my mom would say, that's not what they meant by that. Like, but mom. Now you could get this effect with a silver spray paint, an enamel spray paint, but this is more fun. At least I think this is more fun. And it doesn't chip. Because it's on flexible paint, it doesn't chip like enamel wood. It doesn't lose its shine when I put the clear coat over the top of it. Let's add some extra light here. I love this stuff. Little dabs here and there. And you don't have to worry about missing a spot because if you miss a spot you can go back and redo it and you're faffing about with enamel spray paint it makes it so much more difficult so yes uh that was i was talking about flexi paint earlier um Ty, i never know how to pronounce their name i've never heard them pronounce it Tajis, Tajias, however they want to pronounce it the producers of flexi paint are bringing back the original formulation because of this sort of thing seems i wasn't the only person who thought doing it this way was a good idea like i said um you can get metallic high shine without having to worry about enamel paints on foam metallic high shine that is flexible you get a smooth enough paint job you can make it look like metal and not as stinky yes wait 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 what blue can you coat with uh not uh, I don't, I, uh clear coat i would just use a standard um paint on clear coat 
for this. A gloss clear coat. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be shiny for days. Yeah, in my hand, I've got it. It's silver and gold showing up on them already. Yes, very stinky. Yes, really bad stink bad stinkiness that's also very bad for your lungs. So that's the other thing. I freaking hate wearing masks. I hate shit on my face. I've always hated shit on my face. So I absolutely hate wearing masks. So I can do this. So it's a bit dusty. Once I've brushed most of the dust off, you'll see what I mean about the shininess. And like I said, this shit goes, this stuff looming goes so far. So if I can find a way of doing something that doesn't involve me having to wear a freaking respirator, I am all for it. I hate respirators. No, it's good for my lungs and I gotta look after them and yada 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 and I do. But I will do everything in my power to find a way to not have to wear a respirator. Yes, oh god yes, resin, resin is nasty shit. Seriously nasty shit. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness, Lady Kachar, you sweetheart. Thank you so much. How is Mrs. Mrs. Kachara doing? Is Ms. Kachara well? I'm I'm making shinies, Lady Kachara. I'm making shinies. See, metallic shine, metallic looking shinies. We did a belt earlier. There's our belt. We did it in gold. See, it's foam. It's just plain old foam. Yay! How are you doing, you wonderful human? My way of doing metallic shininess with, so I don't have to wear a respirator and I don't have to use enamel paints. Oh, that's a good plan. That's a very good plan. I used to tape my. Um, uh, vacuum cleaner to the desk. So the funnel was right there. Right. Let's close that. We do not want to knock that over. of the excess dust on that and with that brush. There it is. Oh what did you get? What did you get? What did you get? What did you get, Lady Kachar? What did you get? Oh, I love this stuff. Got a good polish and it looks like blooming Metal. Oh, you got, and you figured out how to thread it. Dear Lord, 
on your first try too. Lady, give yourself a freaking naughty badge. It took me hours to figure out how to I mean, what's the name, my soldier? You're definitely doing better than I did. See, Lady Kachara, look. Got a shine on that. And now we just need some blue paint. I actually, I think I should clear coat it before I try and put blue on it. Let's clear coat it. Ugh. Nose is itchy. It's so shiny. Just look at the shine on that. You wouldn't say that is flexible paint with a mica powder rubbed into it, would you? It doesn't look like that. It's just plain old foam. Right, we need a clear coat for first, but first. I need to try and wipe up as much of the glitter shiny stuff as this cloth will pick up. I mean, my hands are going to be... My hands are currently... Uh, what's the satin finish? Shiny satin finish. Binicular. <laughs> Binicular. I love it! <laughs> I love the name, that is so awesome. Oh, Lady Kachara, on my trip to Scotland, I took Hamish with me. This is Hamish. This is my little Highland coo, Hamish. And Hamish got a friend. His name is Francis. Francis is a little lucky frog. See, that's Francis. So Hamish has a new friend. And we went traveling around Scotland. Right, okay. I'm going to pop to the little girl's room quickly. I will be back in two seconds. Um, and then we will do a clear coat. So back in a minute. Just gonna mute. I think that was all the coffee I drank. Okay, so the next question is, where is my polyurethane? Don't die. Screen, please. I'm mirroring my screen. Where's my polyurethane paint? It's not either of those. This is what happened. Ah, there it is. What happens when I tidy? 
Polyurethane gloss varnish. Yoink! So we'll move this out the way because we're not going to coat that just yet. Right. Okay, I need something to put this in. Um, Let's use that lid. Come on, out you come. Okay, and now I need a brush. You will do nicely. Using a fan brush because this can get into nooks and crevices. a bit darker. It doesn't do that with the... Oh, it does actually come to think about it. It does do that with the gold. But that's fine. It's not a problem. But it, it, it will go light again once the varnish is dry. Let's lay it along. I can't wait either. I have to agree with you on that. I'm so looking forward to seeing what this is going to look like once it's done. I'm having so much fun doing this because there's so many new things to learn. I've learned so much doing this. I'm no longer scared of chiffon. Chiffon does no longer scare me. I'm saying that with my full chest. There we go. That's that. Now we need to take that off there and drape it over something so it can dry. That is now, if painted, it's gone a bit dull now, but it'll shine back up once it's dry. Where can we hang you? Yes, Ned, we're just about to hang it over the top of... Oh, we hang you there for now. That can dry. While that dries, we may need to do some foam stuff. Well, we will have to do some foam stuff. So what we need is we need this. I need the picture up. You can close, you can close, you can close, you can close. I need close up of the belt. Mm. So that's the top. Uh, come on, control plus plus plus. Okay, so what I've zoomed in on. So in a sec. The top part of the belt. So there we go, that's the top. Ah, so she puts her hand in the polyurethane varnish. Well done, babe. Oh, you, you, wow, you're diving right in. Corsets, I've only ever made one. Corsets are a dark art. I think the reason I don't enjoy making corsets, mainly to do with the, um, ooh, okay, so that was wrong. But never mind, it's not a big deal. Uh, mainly to do with the fact that uh, um, it's so repetitive. Says the woman who happily put God knows how many... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Words, Ned, words are hard. Uh, um, rhinestones, that's the word I was looking for. How many of the rhinestones onto a design? 
I can sit there in rhinestone for hours. But cutting out repetitive patterns on the corset does my freaking head in. Now I've lost some bits. I have lost some bits. Okay, let's move you out the way, Mr. Ruler. Move the ruler out the way. Bits are tiny, so I can't say I'm surprised I've lost them. Is that one of the bits? No, but it was one of the bits I was contemplating using. Um, what happened to the not underneath there. Uh, I don't want to have to make more. right there. Where did they go? Oh, what's that? There's one piece. That's one bit that I was just looking for. That goes there. So I need to make two more of those. Okay, so so you can actually see it's a little little leaf and this is a little curly bit. Those are the bits I'm looking for. I need to make a couple more of those. Just cut off bits. Did you end up underneath my sewing machine somehow? No. no. Ah, top stitching. Yes, that, that does take some practice to get it to look good and neat. It definitely does take some practice. Okay, so first of all, let's move these freaking rulers because these rulers are annoying the shit out of me right now. Uh, let's hang them up where they're supposed to be hung up. It probably doesn't help that I'm looking for. Well, I'm, oh god, I can't. See, I can see even less with, with my glasses off. I thought maybe I had two. Seriously, where is the other bit like that? shouldn't be hard to find. I wonder if you'd look better there. Oh, I like you more, actually. Okay, let me just move these. Let's just hang these. That shouldn't be there where they can get covered in paint. Let's just hang the windows up. <laughs> it was a bit attached to one of the rulers. That's the bit I was looking for. The bit I was looking for was attached to the ruler there. Like I said, I actually prefer this. Let's see. I need a kniffy. And I now need to very, very carefully cut this off. Slice. Slice. Oh shit, you 
Is that supposed to break? Well, that was as useful as a chocolate freaking teapot. God damn it. It's a very cheerful today. I've been enjoying the birdies today. I'm just busy pulling bits apart as I'm having a look at what else I've got here that I could possibly use. These still need sand. I've still got these buggers that still need sanding for the helmet. Let's just go with the leaf like I was going to originally. None of these bits would really fit. And I like this bit, but I don't have another piece like that. Okay, so now what I need is with you. No, not you. Where are the leaves? There. And where's my phone? There we go. Give me a phone. Uh, don't knock things off me. Foam out. Oh, that was way too much. I might go put these in the oven. This is the nice thing about these silicon molds. You can see them in the oven dry them out quickly. One can dry it quickly. Yeah. 
anything else I need to add to this not, not that I can see. Right, let's just scroll down to the bottom this and make sure that there's no bits at the bottom I need to add. No, it's just that round bit. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Back. Okay. Let's seal this back up. I've not quite gotten to the point yet where I need to um, suck all the air out of it. I haven't got to the point where I need to uh, add water to the bag before I seal it up. Okay, let me just go stick this in the oven. I'll be back. this put it in the other places I need it house. Thank you so much for the follow. That is truly appreciated. I hope you had a good weekend. But today is my Monday, which is why I, I say that. Okay, so we stick this in for that wrong direction. Let's stick this in. We do nice, quiet, calm streams here most of the time. See, I shouldn't have, uh, I'm going to have to paint over this with flexi paint. So we've got our little bits that will need to be painted over. Just got to wait for the other foam. What we're going to do in the meantime while we wait for that to dry and the other foam to set. Hmm. I still need, I still need, let's switch over to that screen and that screen. Okay, so this, this is the bit we're working on at the moment, this bit here in the centre. So. This is what we're waiting for the urethane to dry on, so we can add paint like this to it. See all the blues and silvers and stuff. Um, I'll dry over the urethane and so it's going to dry that bit for me. No, it's got wet. Too wet. Okay, so what we can look at next for these things. Pretty curly things here. I don't really have I any, mean, I have these, but these aren't exactly right. And technically I could do this. Wait, helps to actually have, where's the other one like this? 
or is this the one that I only have one of? I have a feeling this is the one I uh, this is the one I only have one of. I don't have a duplicate of it. I could use let's pull this into the center so you can actually see what I'm doing. I have this fleur de lis. Like it's not really great. But my biggest problem is I utterly suck uh, at um, I truly suck at uh, sculpting. I mean, like really suck at sculpting. Okay, that's actually better. Now if I have two of these, put my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm looking at. Okay, so you need to come off there. If I had two opposing of these, where's the other one like this? There should be another one like that. There. This would do way better. So we could technically put that one so that one there and then that one like so. And like I said, I believe if I'm not mistaken, I've got lots of that one. Uh the duplicates that. that. Oh, I'll make one of these. I I made one of these. Well, that's that one. I could have sworn I made one of these. I can hit the, the blender on the floor. It has not, but I have finally found my scissors I was looking for. Because if I make this one, I could put that across there. Hmm, okay, that would probably work actually. Right, let's get the foam out again. Move that to one side so it can, it can dry. Make sure. I'm missing one of these. Ah, there it is. That's the one I was looking for. Yeah, you see, I've only got the one. as well. Getting all these drivers out of here. Can get up a bit because this is very Okay, so now we're going to, this is going to be quite difficult because I don't want the edges. I literally just want these bits. So now we need to get in there. Oh, thanks for the look and, and have fun on your errands. I'm glad work is over. Yay! Yay for work being over. I truly appreciate the look, my dear. I love my lurkers. In fact, the people are actually quite happy to leave. 
to leave a look for me is just so so awesome. Listen to those turtle, not turtle does, ring neck does. They're known as ring neck does. Um, and they always remind me of South Africa. Growing up in South Africa, we used to hear those all the time. It's like the common bird. And in the background. Reminds me of my childhood, hot summer days. Outside, playing in the woods. that in there. There he is again. Ah, that makes me so happy that it's one of the one of my favorite doves. One of my favorite birds. Simply because of the memories attached to that sound. Use again. Hopefully, the little leaves will be ready. By the time I'm done with this, because then we can put some flexi paint on them, get them ready for buffing as well. Dove is a little grey dove. He's got a black ring around his neck. That's why it's called a ring neck dove. My dad very much loved his birds. I grew up knowing about birds. Not a huge amount. I wasn't always that interested in. But I, I, I absorbed some information involuntarily, I guess you could say. Birds I do not miss are the hardy dars. That freaking sound, it sounds like freaking tortured souls. 
and they're always at like five o'clock in the morning outside your window always when you have a hangover and that fecker goes off at freaking five o'clock in the morning because something startled him like i don't know a blade of grass moved or something silly that was never fun hated both birds and of course we also have the guinea fowl <laughs> those are noisy feckers first time I watched the Lion King and they have the guinea fowl running in the beginning and you can hear them calling oh who's that? Sap! hello welcome back I'm putting more foam into molds again, Sap. I just realized this mold is not actually symmetrical. Making it a little grumpy, but I don't think anybody will notice. And, 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 you can't say, and my God, and not elaborate, honey. Does it help? Oh, no. I hope she's okay now, and I hope you're okay. Not easy when our babies do that. Right. Ow, ow, sorry. Ah, sciatica. remember how old Minerva is now because my memory is so bad but uh, maybe consider potty training she may find that less stressful as in not making a stinky diaper I mean you know I can't say I blame her I would be the same about a diaper it's been to the stinky kind shame poor girl Three in October. Hmm. Might be worth considering the potty training. Um, I just kind of introduced Junior to it. I didn't really wait for signs as such. I freaking hated changing nappies. I might have tried it a bit too early, I don't know. It took him a while to get it. Because um, having to go to the potty would interrupt his playtime. And he did not like that. But you have to do what works for you and... Minerva, obviously. Just wondering if maybe she'd find a potty less of a stressful situation. Okay, let me go pop this in the oven and see if the, if the other ones are ready. Back in a sec.
doing it. That vacuum didn't work. Let's try that again. Let's breathe in some more foam. There we go, that works better. Well, let's see if we can get these out before we just go right ahead and um, attempt to glue them on. Because I have to be gentle, very gentle with them now because the foam is very soft and easily damaged. Right, let's pick them up carefully before we put the glue down. There we go. Blob, blob. Look at shiny, sap shiny. We made it all shiny. Okay, so that now needs to dry properly. I kind of feel like there should be something here. I don't know what though. I don't really have anything that's small enough. Hands are just not following instructions here. They're just doing their own freaking thing here. Oh, yeah. Really, hands, seriously? Hmm, that works, okay. Some glue on that. I should probably wait for the glue to dry, but it's too late. Um, remind me that that's, I said screw it when it goes wrong, that this was my idea and stuff.
all the little crevices there. Because of course we need to fluff this once it's dry. I think we're going to call it there, peoples. We've done two hours. I will be back at it tomorrow. But I've got stuff that now needs to dry. So we need to let this dry pond properly. And it's also getting dark. So, oh wow, look at that terrible lighting. Right. Who am I taking you over to raise? Moco made, I think. We go raid Moco. I've been raiding them for a while. Let's go raid Moco. It's just the easiest. I'm being lazy here. I don't feel like hunting down for someone else. Unless somebody's got a suggestion. Otherwise, we're going to go raid Moco. Let me go fire them up on my computer. My uh, headphone has turned itself off. <laughs> right, you wonderful humans. I love you guys dearly. I will see you tomorrow, depending on how noisy the neighbors' construction workers are. I will either see you tomorrow afternoon, normal time, or I will see you guys tomorrow evening. So it'll either be same time tomorrow evening or normal time. Um, Discord, I'll announce it in Discord what's going to happen. All right, I love you guys dearly. Have a fantastic afternoon. Look after yourselves. Hugs to you, Sap, if you're still there. Um, and we're going to be kicked out any second now. So I'll just keep talking until we kicked out. But yes, take care, peoples. I love you all. Look after yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. And sending you all the hugs. Love you. Bye. Bye. Are you gone yet? Bye.